Welcome into the video, welcome into the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. And today I'm back with another video here on the beautiful 77 inch LG G4. But for the topic of this video and what I'm gonna show you in this video, this will apply to other displays. So have no fear if you have a C4, a C3, even a C2, and I think this might actually go back further, but I'll need someone in the comments section to confirm. But what I'm gonna show you in this video is what I would consider a secret menu for LG displays. And again, I think this will go back further than the C2. This probably applies to the C1, the CX, etc. Leave me some comments, let me know if that's the case. I call this a secret menu because there's not a button dedicated to it on your remote. It's not as simple as just pressing a singular button on your remote labeled this to pull this up. But let me show you what I'm talking about. So I have the LG remote right here. I apologize for the lighting in here, but these remotes have not really changed over the last several years. Although the 2025 models and what was seen at CES, it appears we're actually finally getting a remote refresh, a different one. But anyway, right here in the middle is gonna be your mute button. And I oftentimes get these two confused and accidentally press this microphone button right here. But, but what you're gonna wanna do is just press this three times, the mute button. So one, two, three, and it's gonna pull up this little side panel here. And what's cool about this secret menu is that you're gonna get quick access to information that would take you multiple steps through the regular menu. So for example, you have your model number there if you need to know your exact model number, serial number, okay, whatever. You have access to your platform information, what version of WebOS you're on. And then below that, you have your current software version that's on your display. So you'll have quick access to it. And if you notice there, it goes away pretty quickly. Uh, so let me pull that back up. There we go. So you have four bits of information here at the top that it's nice to have quick access to those. Now these hotkeys through the menu, the middle here, I never ever use these. So if you're somebody who knew about this already and you actually utilize these right here, leave me some comments on what you actually do with these. But I wanna move on to the other part that I actually pay attention to, which is gonna be these three options down here. Now we'll start with auto power sync. And if you're somebody who wants to have your other whatever devices you have connected to your LG display, if you wanna have those devices be able to turn on the display rather than having to find this LG Magic Remote and turn on the display and then turn on your devices, et cetera, you just leave this checkbox turned on, showing green. If you don't want your other external devices to be able to turn on the display, you uncheck this. Moving on to the second one, it says show LG logo when turning off the TV. So if you're somebody who gets really annoyed that when you power down a display, it puts a big ass LG logo in the middle of the screen before actually powering down fully, you can actually turn that feature off. And then third, you have no signal image. And I'm gonna show you in real time how this impacts things, but let me go ahead and move over to an input that doesn't have anything currently playing and I'll show you how this works. All right, so I'm over here on the input where the PS5 Pro is connected and I'm all done with my gaming session. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the console down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, go to power down and let me show you what the no signal input looks like once this is fully powered down. All right, so now the display is not detecting anything powering this particular input. So as you'll see here on the inputs, it's showing that it's offline. So let's go ahead and press the, the mute button again three times to pull up our menu. One, two, three, there we go. And we'll head on down here to no signal image. And as you can see here, the no signal image checked on is gonna be just various LG artwork scrolling through like a slideshow. Now, when I click this button, you're gonna see here, you just get this screen right here. It's a totally dark screen and it just says no signal with like a Pong looking animation above it. And it tells you to please check the power, blah, blah, blah. Now me personally, I'd rather see the artwork until the TV actually turns itself off. So I'm gonna hit mute button, one, two, three. Let's get that pulled back up. Let's turn this back on. And you can see in real time, when you check and uncheck this box, it immediately does it. You don't have to change inputs or anything, but that's gonna wrap up this video. I just wanted to show you this, what I call secret menu. I think it's really cool because you kind of feel like you're hacking your display a little bit, so to speak, without doing any damage to it. You're getting quick access to information at the top that you'd normally have to dive through several parts of the main menu to find. And you could do these little secret things right here, 
like I've mentioned in this video. So if you did find this video helpful and you want to help support the channel, please consider hitting the like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you don't miss my future uploads. But with all that being said, until the next one.